Bench testing a 1957 Cadillac non-fog light option headlight switch, serial number MARCUS 1522-0207-2024, offered by TT Parts of Building. Run-up test. Test number one, tail and parking light operation. Test number two, tail and headlight operation. Test number three, dash lights set low to high. Test number four, circuit breaker test. Test number five, switch terminals insulated from ground. Using a fully charged battery, we see we have 12.86 volts. For the run-up test, we're going to be boosting the battery. Now showing 13.97 volts. Also during the run-up test, we're going to be monitoring the rheostat temperature. We have a digital Fahrenheit meter here. And right now we're at ambient at 75 degrees. Test number one, tail and parking light operation. First position, tail, parking light are on. Rotate the rheostat to mid-range. And off. Again, first position, tail and parking light. Tail, parking, dash light set, mid-range. And off. Test number two, tail and headlight operation. First position, tail parking. Second position, front parking lights are off, headlights come on. Back to first position, parking lights are back on, headlights are off, and off. Test number three, dash lights set low to high. First position, rotating rear stat, we're gonna turn the dash lights to the off position. Slowly rotate it to the mid-range. Let it set there for a second. See you have a little increase of uh, real estate temperature. Mid-range. And full bright. Back to mid-range. To low. And off. Take the mid-range, second position, front parking lights are off, headlights are on, dash lights off, to low, mid-range, full bright. Back to mid-range, reach that temperature now at 96 degrees. low, back to mid-range, first position, front parking lights are on, headlights are off, low, mid-range, full bright, and off. Test number four, circuit breaker test. Delco Remy headlight switches hit an onboard circuit breaker. It's a bimetallic arm that breaks the connection between the battery and the switch in the event there's a vehicle short in the headlight wiring. To demonstrate that, we're gonna put it in first position. Simulate a short situation where bimetallic arm would overheat. We see that the circuit from the battery to the switch is broken. Second position, simulating overheating of the wiring or short in the vehicle in a headlight circuit. Contact arm expands, breaks the switch circuit between the battery and the switch. Back to first position, again simulating expansion of biometallic arm due to overheating. Switch disconnected from the battery in the vehicle. And off. Test number five, switch terminals insulated from ground. Using a standard 12 volt test light, you see we have continuity back to the battery through the switch chassis. I'm gonna probe each one of the terminals on the switch body, demonstrate that the terminals are insulated from ground. Panel light terminal, no continuity back to the battery. Battery feed, no continuity. Headlight feed, no continuity. 
Tail light feed, no continuity. Parking light feed, no continuity. Body brake feed, no continuity. The only continuity we have through the switch chassis. Back to the battery. This demonstrates that the switch terminals are insulated from ground.